Hey there, sexy people. This is Van Zeeben with Designs by Zephyr here. This is going to be the second tutorial on coding your first program, okay? So uh, if you haven't watched the last video, I suggest you go watch that. It's about getting set up and uh, just some basic things about Java and how it works and stuff. So I'm not going to go into that again. Um, just make sure you watch that video and understand that. So as you have it set up, uh, you're just going to go to a new Java, okay, or this little button here. As you'll see, this is already put into here. Um, it is just the basic Java. They have it in there for a reason because when people first developed coding, they created C. And um, when they did C, the first thing that they did was a hello world. So little text pop up. So this is kind of just like a tribute to everyone. And it's kind of bad luck if you don't have this. If, you, if this isn't your first program in Java, it's bad luck. So we're just going to uh, backspace this here. And I'm going to show you the one that I did in the last one because that code, what you just saw, is this temp okay so it's, it's the same thing I just added a couple things just for preference and a file name but if I run this or if I compile it first and then run it you'll see the text pop up there that isn't too exciting and frankly it's just kind of boring it's just text so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a little dialog box pop up on the screen um, it's very easy so just go to new okay or right here new Java it's just a shortcut now we're going to start off by importing that little dialog box. Now the dialog box is a class that's built into the Java API, and which comes with all of the JDKs that we installed on the previous version on the previous tutorial. So what we're going to do is we're going to import that into here so that we can use it at any whenever we want. So we're going to type in import, okay, space, and make sure that the spacing before I start, make sure that all spacing and and capitalization is exactly the same, because if your spacing and capitalization is not, then um, it won't work and it won't like I'll, I'll show you an error in a minute and later on when I finish doing this I'll, I'll just go back and show you with the error but it will not could like it will not um, process what you're saying so do import and then we are going to do javax dot swing dot j option pane and then put put a little semicolon now what this does or a colon whatever that one is what this does is it's importing the j option pane class from the Java API, okay? That's all that's doing. And then we're gonna create the the main, the first class. So we're gonna do public class, and now we're gonna do our file name. Now this file name can be anything, but it has to be exactly the same as what the file name is. Whatever you type right here should be whatever the file name is. And if it's not, it won't work. So we're gonna type hello, and then world, okay? So that's gonna be the file name when we save it. Then we're gonna go into these brackets, put a new line, um, I may do some things that are that you that you've seen different done in tutorials. That's just my personal preference. And uh, like as you can see, like I'll put a space there, put some spaces in here, do a tab, stuff like that. That's all personal preference, and it's really up to you if you like that or not. It's just to keep it nice and nice and laid out. Uh, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna create the main method. Okay. So we're gonna do public static void main, and then do a, a bracket and type string args which it stands for arguments by the way and then do that okay so what this is is the main method this is calling out the main method saying this is the thing that java the java um, virtual machine will look to when it when it first boots up okay so this is the main method then we're just going to do two of these oops all right put our first bracket in and now we're going to import we're going to call out the j option pane we're going to say okay i want you to use this now so we're going to do j oops, option pane and now we're going to type the name of what we want it to so we're going to reference it to my io so whenever we use the words the word my io that's going to be calling out the j option pane okay and it's going to be of type new so it's saying create a new object in phys in the memory of type j op option pane okay it's pretty simple all right um most of the stuff that you're going to be hearing it's it's more humans making it more complicated than it has to be and our wording and stuff my io this can be anything this could be my program this this could be my interface okay anything but usually when you program java you'll have the first word um as a lowercase word like my and then the second word will be capitalized and the third word and any word after that will be capitalized this is just language and java programmers won't really understand what you're saying sometimes if you don't do this okay and now we're just going to say we're going to call out that so we're going to say my io so this is saying i want i want to use this option here and we're going to put a dot and then we're going to go show message 
dialog and then we're gonna put a bracket right null comma and then the little quotation marks hello worlds there we go okay so that is going to what this is going to do is it's saying my io so we're, we're taking we're taking saying j option pain right here i need you for a second and show message dialog is a is an option that they built into j option pain so whenever you use show message dialog a little dialog box will pop up saying whatever is right here inside the parentheses okay and then we're just going to close that squiggly bracket and so again this is your method right here this is your class okay but this is this is what everyone's going to be this is what um it, the java the java virtual machine looks to okay so then we're going to save it first off and we're going to save it as hello world because once again that that's what's right here so we're going to put it right there save it then we're going to use command one or control one and compile it as you can see output completed and run it and as you see a little dialog box pops up saying hello world so uh that was your first program okay now i'll show you that that little error so if we were to put right here put an o a small o and then save it and run it you'll see we get an error and it cannot find the symbol that's because the capital has to be a capital it's just um it's very it's case sensitive okay in a nutshell forgot i forgot that word word earlier and it probably would have been a lot easier than going through all this but yes it is case sensitive so um, that was your first program, as you see again, output completed, and uh, this. Actually, I should probably talk about errors a little bit while we're on it. So when we compile, we're going to come up, we, we, we'll get errors as developers, we always will. You can't help that. But what, what we do is we, we have to go through the errors and search, and we have to find out what's what and why we're getting an error. So you always go to the first error, because the first error may be the only error in it. Because if I were to put an error here, I would get an error here, here, here. I would get errors multiple just based on this error, okay? So always look for the first error. Now, you'll see hello hello world or whatever your file name is, .java, and then se semicolon or colon, can't remember. And then you'll see, you'll see a little number, and that number is whatever line it is. So you see the lines here? 7 and 7. So it's saying that there's an error on line 7, okay? And the error is it cannot find the symbol, okay? And then so we're going to go down a little bit. And we're going to see that this, we're, so this is the line, correct? J option pain, my IO equals new J option pain. Yes, that is the line right here. So it, it outputs your line seven. And then this little like up, I don't even know what to call it. This little arrow points at what it cannot find. So it's saying I got all the way up to here and then I got this error. Like the Java virtual machine is telling you, this is what I could run. And then I stopped right here because that's as far as I could get. So it's saying that the, there's something wrong with the J option pain. Now, mostly it will be just a spelling error or something like that. And if we, if we fix that and compile it, we'll see that it's completed and it runs completely fine. So uh, that's been your first program. Uh, sorry if I dragged it out a bit more uh, than it had to be, but uh, yeah. So the next program, we're going to be getting into some variables and what variables are and uh, how to use them in Java. Uh, thank you, and we'll see you next time.